can't even remember. I just, I was so nervous. It was like my first big project. When I got hired, my clothes pretty much set. There's no crowd helmet, go crazy with it. We were mentoring Jenya through school, so we have some background with her. We know she's extremely tough, so if you're a designer here, you gotta have thick skin. So when we started the helmet project for lacrosse, we met with these three crazy lax guys, Doug, Court, and Blake. Those three dudes, they're so together. The power that comes from them, it's kind of like it was overwhelming, I guess. I didn't know anything about lacrosse. Being around the sport of lacrosse for as long as we have, we brought the nuggets of information about lacrosse helmets that needed to be communicated to the group here. We gave a lecture over the past 20 years of lacrosse helmet development, starting with the bucket helmet, as it progressed through to the modern day helmet, talking about the features that were desirable. Things like peripheral vision, protection, certainly weight. Or the way a helmet would tilt on a player's head. Specifically how low it sits on your head. Almost to the point of blinding yourself. I think the expression, you have to look good to play good, gets tossed around uh, quite a bit. You know, of course, we're kind of coming at it from a bike or snow perspective. And what we do to really apply the weight savings that we're doing on other helmets, and how would we do that with an EPP product? I've learned probably within those two hours more than I've learned in two years of working here about the sport. I didn't say a word. That was the weirdest thing. She didn't say much. She, she had her head down and she was sketching on a, on a notepad. A couple times I'd find myself looking over to see What's she doing over there? In the corner is Jenya, and she's just furiously scribbling away, drawing, literally as a like a police sketch artist. I was sketching pretty much like those uh, people in the witness stands and stuff. I was doing the exact same thing, sketching everything they were saying. She was just head down, just cranking, and I can imagine how many sketches she did. I sketched probably uh, at least 20 different helmet ideas. I'd like to compare myself to Da Vinci back in that day for two hours. At the end, Jenya spreads out these drawings out on the table, whether it was a prim or a face mask or a vent or a tilt. That one's great, but, but so is that one. And why can't we use both? Everything she put down on paper was a potential home run. After sketches, you start pretty much carving things out of foam. And this is her first helmet, so it's her first attempt at doing foams. And you can't add back the foam. So when you're carving away, you can only carve. So it, they typically start getting whittled down, whittled down. And uh, I created probably over 20 of those, and like all of them were different. We were like, which one do we choose, you know? So there was a lot of discussion about the direction that we felt we should go. And then once we get that foam done, then we go into a full-size clay, and that's at the point where you can start putting it on and you know, really getting the sense of how it's going to look on the head. Three months down the line, we got our first sample, and I just screamed. You didn't even know. I was, like, running around. I was wearing it for about a week. From there, we started to create prototypes, test after test, until finally we ended up with the helmet that we got. First reaction is the lightness they picked up. No way, like it's just obscenely lightweight. The question to us was, can a lacrosse helmet be comfortable? And in order to accomplish that, we went with three sizes and we nailed it. The most comfortable fitting helmet by a mile. And we built adjustable tilt into the helmet. So you're always looking through the right holes, you're getting the look that you want through the right tilt, and you're maximizing protection. We just kind of wanted the helmet just to disappear. You know, just be as light as possible and just high as possible and something that you just had to have. So if I die, I have something that I've done that I'm extremely proud of. That's kind of a great accomplishment, right?